seven, take eight, I don't know. <clears throat> hey guys. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit all this together here. So bear, bear, so bear with me. I've got like a whole day's worth of videos and then I've got everything that I'm trying to say today. Um, two hours of me trying to make videos and then just getting too emotional. It's really getting old. Okay, I'm gonna make a video, one way or another. Look, I got Tilly back. Uh, but, just still embarrassed. I don't know. Hang on. Okay, be happy, be happy, be happy. Okay, look. I got Tilly fixed. My motorhome's fixed. Let's talk about that first, so I don't get any more emotions. I want to get through it. I shot some video yesterday um, of what was going on with Wayne, and I've already talked about how much Wayne helped me out. Um, our first order of business for the whole day. Uh, we went to Walmart and got supplies. We got some treatments, um, some other uh, cleaning agents. I, I don't remember what it's called. I'm not a mechanic. He, he's he's the he's the miracle worker here, Wayne RV Prepper. So. Um, uh, we, we, we cleaned out the engine oil, uh, let, let, let that sit in there, and then uh, put in a different, a, th a thicker kind of oil and, and another uh, treatment agent. And then, you know, basically it's like, hey, this is a cheap fix, right? Uh, maybe the, maybe the, the new oil and chemicals can try to fix and, 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 and work on the uh, lifter and stuff like that. So, um, whatever. I, okay, Eric, time to start the, the, the RV. Okay, I get in, I turn the key. Well, that was wishful thinking. And then we let it run a little bit, and I swear to God, I, um, I'm i walking away from, from the driver's door of my RV, and all of a sudden the, the uh, ticking is... And I turn back around, and I'm looking at my RV and looking at Wayne, and I'm like... I'm so far from home. <laughs> I'm on the opposite corner of the country right now. And I had to, I had to make a few phone calls there to my mom and my dad and a few other people. Everybody's given me a lot of support and help and love and encouragement. But oh, I, here we go. It was too much for me. It was it was too much for me to handle there for a second. I'm 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 not as strong as many of you think I am. I'm really not, and I'm I'm not afraid to say that. I'm just. Uh, I wasn't emotionally uh, equipped to be prepared for something like losing my RV, well my home, losing everything, and being so far away from home. I wasn't emotionally uh, prepared for that, and I probably should have been. Then again, I didn't know how far I was going to go. I didn't, you know. Originally, I just talked about going down to California Slab City. And what an incredible journey it's been so far, right? So, uh, let's change the subject and let's be happy, right? My RV runs as it did before. That lifter, somehow, what I can't remember how he described it, whether it's hydraulic or whatever, but the oil... It fixed it. It made it work. It got it. It gave it a push start in the right direction to make it work as it's supposed to. And I, you know, I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for it. I am thankful for it. I can't wait to get back on the road. I'm actually going to stay here in Panama City one more day. Uh, there's somebody I want to see. Want some, somebody want to hang out with? But I have to go back to a few things because, like I said, I've been trying to make videos all day here. And, and yesterday's video of me getting all emotional and everything. And uh, There's some other video of some other stuff that was going on. I might splice that in here. I'll, I'll look through it and see if it's worth it. 
Uh, and you know, I just don't want to. I just don't want to show all of that. I just want to reiterate the fact that I've had a rough couple days, and I don't think I've been honest with people on YouTube. You know, but it happens. You know, I get through it. I do get through it as long as it takes. I had some crazy ideas going on, and I'm glad. I'm glad it's over with. Okay, so we're back to normal. All right. I promise you that in the next video I make, maybe not today, but in the next video I make, you will see a change in my attitude. I will be smiling. I will be happy. I will be perky. Be back to my normal self, and everything will be okay. So yeah, I'm going to look at some of the other video and splice in. We're going to go back in time now, probably in this video. I'm going to splice in some of the stuff I was uh, talking about before we did the engine flush uh, yesterday over at Wayne's house. Try some of this. All right, good morning, guys. Still working on doing my daily vlog here, even though things are interesting. So, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, diagnosed Tilly the Tioga has uh, a lifter in the motor making that sound. Uh, that's internal engine work. So, um, a lot of people uh, in this situation really have to uh, take a look at what's going on and diagnose and decide what they want to do here because a lot of vehicles uh, it's their final resting point when they start having engine work like that needing to be done many of you are probably wondering what I'm gonna do here since I'm literally on the opposite corner of the country in my RV my home and everything I don't know what a, what, a, what a lot of people would do but I but I will I will say this I, I I've put a lot of money and work into this Tioga to get here, and uh, as I said, I'm, I'm back here out, out at Wayne's place in Florida. Uh, he was nice enough to let me come back and take a look at it, and um, I'm not deterred from uh, getting some work done on it. Uh, in the meantime, you know, just taking it uh, in short strides here. Um, we're, we're gonna flush the engine, uh, give it an oil change, put in a thicker oil, different, uh, we went to Walmart and, uh, got some supplies to, uh, do the oil change here, and, uh, I don't know, maybe I get lucky and something helps fix the lifter and get it back normal, you know, without opening it up the engine compartment, it's hard to tell what's even wrong with that lifter. Has it been compressed down? Is it, is the rocker arm on? It's, uh, there's, you know, can't say anything. Uh, at this point, this is just one quick, easy thing to try. Uh, so that's what we're going to try. I will also mention that, uh, you know, it's the winter in Florida. So, uh, Wayne and I have talked about possibly taking off the front end of the RV and doing a top end engine rebuild as an actual option that him and I can work out and uh, you know I can help barter for trade for the labor and you know we're we're we're, we're talking about that but but first we're going to do the oil change right I just wanted to say that yeah, I, I am interested in possibly uh, rebuilding the top end of the motor. Might be worth it, right? Uh, how long is that going to take? Well, it depends. A couple days, a few days. It depends on what we find and what gets broken along the way in an old RV. Could take weeks, could take a month. But yes, I talked about scrapping the RV and buying a van yesterday which I've now rethought and realized that, you know, yes, I could do it, but you'd still be taking the chance in another van because, or any vehicle, any, any vehicle, house, RV, anything is subject to have problems. And I've, 
and already invested a lot into this RV, so it makes sense that I shouldn't lose focus right now. I need to stay focused. I know people are wondering what my intentions are and what I'm thinking through all this and what I'm going to end up choosing. I don't know what else to say right now except that it's completely live right now. You know, I'm, I'm going to be staying probably one day behind on my videos. Other than that, if you have any suggestions or questions or words of encouragement or uh, other routes that I can take, uh, feel free to uh, let, let me know. I want to set up my live account, maybe, uh, while also working on what's going on with the RV, possibly also doing some live events and offering people to maybe join in on video if they're interested, or opening up the comment section of the video to do kind of a live Q&A. So that's another option. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to, to have met a friend like Wayne who's willing to help me out in this. And also, you know, it's really hard for RVers like me that live full time to find mechanical work on the road. Uh, it's, you know, you go into some of these big shops like Midas and stuff like that, and then you tell them, yeah, I need something done, but uh, also um, I live in here all the time, so it's got all my stuff. My cat's in here, and no matter what, I need it back before you close because I live in it and have to sleep in it. So <laughs> there's this, <laughs> there's this kind of interesting compromise, uh, which is kind of tough to talk to some mechanics. So that, you know, that, I, that that's also why I kind of really feel blessed having having Wayne's help out here. Possibly even purchasing uh, like a $500 car here in Florida and still touring around during the day or the night uh, other places around Panama City. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, and uh, we'll see how far we get today. All right, thanks for watching guys. Again, um, I got much mad respect for Wayne. I'm gonna put a link to his channel here at the bottom of this right. Again, it's RV Prepper. He's a good, honest guy. Uh, he's getting better with his videos, and um, I got I got more respect for him than. Oh man, man. Last couple days, I just feel like I don't I don't deserve this all the support that I have on YouTube. I feel like I just want to shove it all over to Wayne because he's got such a good heart. Okay, um, all right, I'm gonna clean the RV up here, feed Jax, he's still sleeping, and then regroup, and then, and again, I just want to, uh, publicly talk about one, one other thing, I had a, a, a spat with someone a couple days ago on, on YouTube, on his channel, and him and I disagree on a few things, and I may have said some things, I unsubscribed from him and said some things, um, but, but looking back at it now, I feel like I was, uh, you know, it's okay to have a difference of opinion, and, um, I didn't mean to steer people away from, well, I guess I'll just mention him, <laughs> I didn't mean to steer people away from Jimmy Rance, uh, it's just that, I wanted to let him know that I had unsubscribed, and I, I, I did. I felt attacked, and I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get along with some of his ideas on our on RVers like 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 us. I, I will point out, um, I'm I, I I was wrong. He didn't. Uh, he never called me out by by name in that video or mentioned me. So, for all I know, he couldn't. He might not even been talking to me. It could have been all other RVers. Um, uh, I'm so yeah. Like, like I said in that comment, Jimmy, I'm I'm sorry for our little spat there. I've you know, there's been there's been a lot of other more you know, other stuff going on in my life right now. So, I I resubscribe to your channel. I I enjoy watching that kind of stuff that you do. I just don't always comment, and I encourage uh, other RVers who may have left his channel because of what I said to you know just maybe re reevaluate the whole. Uh, everybody's got their opinion on on YouTube. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, don't just, you shouldn't just pull the plug like I did because you don't agree with something and you feel attacked. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, anything else? I don't, I don't, I don't think I really have anything else to, uh, to, uh, say right now. Except, I love y'all and I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. 
Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>